The average salary in America is around $59 or $60,000 per year. Now, ticker symbol TSLY or the Yield Max Tesla Option Income ETF has a 73% distribution rate and has been paying massive monthly dividends for some time now. In this video, we are going to dig into this new Yield Max ETF, ticker symbol TSLY and explain exactly what this high yield cover call ETF is and how it works, etc. Then later on in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how $80,000 invested into this ETF could in theory surpass the average salary of a worker in America. Now stick around because we have a lot to go through. Right after you, please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more future content like this. Now before we dig deeper into TSLY's dividends, performance, and everything else, Let's first head over to the YieldMax website and find out exactly what this ETF even is and how it works. The fund overview says the YieldMax TSLA Option Income Strategy ETF, or TSLY, is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate income by selling or writing call options on Tesla. TSLY pursues a strategy that aims to harvest compelling yields while retaining capped participation in the price gains of Tesla. Now, some more important facts for TSLY specifically. TSLY has a gross expense ratio of 0.99%, which is definitely higher than that of most other ETFs out there, but for an ETF with this type of strategy, it sort of makes sense. Now, TSLY was started back in November of last year, so there is a little bit of track record, which we're going to go through here and show you in a second, to see how this fund has actually performed since inception, and of course, how the dividends have looked. So I know what you're probably asking next, how in the world do these covered call ETFs from Yieldbacks even work? And how were they able to generate such massive, massive distributions for investors? Well, first of all, let's go over some of the basics of a covered call strategy. For those that might not be aware of it, covered calls involve buying shares of a stock and then writing call option contracts on some of those shares. A covered call could also be referred to as call writing or writing a call option on a security. And for beginners out there, it's going to be a little bit confusing because there are different terminology and different ways to say the same thing. For example, if you want to sell a covered call, you could also say that I'm looking to sell an option. There's many different ways to say it, but they all pretty much mean the same thing. So other investors can then purchase the call option that the sellers are, of course, selling to them. Now for the contract buyers, they pay a small fee or in the case of Tesla, Apple and some of these names that Yieldmax uses, sometimes a larger fee to the call writer known as the premium for doing so. Now the contract gives the buyer of the option the right, but not the obligation to buy shares at a specific price on or before a specified date. In the case of call options, when the share price of the underlying security rises above the strike price that is agreed upon, an option holder can choose to exercise the option, at which point the stock could be called away from the person who wrote the call option or that sold the call option. Now the whole point of this is that the option holder then receives shares at a cost lower than the current market value, and that's sort of the value of buying call options. Their profits will equal the difference between the option strike price of what they agreed upon and where the stock is currently trading minus the premium paid. The higher the stock price rises before the expiration date, the greater the profit for the person holding the call option could be. Because the call option writer receives the income on the deal in the form of a premium, they want the stock price to either stay flat or fall or slightly rise in order to basically keep their shares, but also, of course, make some massive profit off the premium. So now that we know a little bit about what a covered call is and how it really works, when it comes to the yield max covered call ETFs, the ETF strategy is going to usually involve a short term expiration date, say a month or two. And then the fund is going to buy a boatload of whatever stock of whatever yield max ETF you're choosing. For TSLY, for example, they're going to buy a ton of Tesla shares. Then after buying the Tesla shares, they are going to sell covered calls or write call options. And of course, like you learned a second ago, by doing so, they are going to earn a massive amount of premium. And a side note, the premium is going to be so high because all the different stocks that yield max tracks have a relatively high beta. So the premiums are going to be very, very high, which means more and more premium or more and more income for the ETFs, and then of course for the Yieldmax ETFs shareholders. Now, after they buy the shares of Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, whatever it is, they sell the cover call, then you have to wait and see how the market's going to perform within the time period from then until the expiration date. If the shares move up like crazy, well past the strike price. Well, because writing cover calls gives you a profit cap, if you will. The funds are likely going to perform a little bit worse if that happens. But if in theory, these names trade somewhat sideways, within the time that they execute the trades up until expiration date, well then the profits will be massive and also the distributions will too. So now that we all know exactly what TSLY is, how it works, etc., 
Looking into the year-to-date performance as far as just the ETF price, it's basically flat, down 0.18%. So since around January of this year, the ETF was trading at $13 or so per share, and since then went all the way up to $17 plus per share, and as of right now, is trading right back at that $13 mark. The 52-week range for this ETF is actually pretty wide, at $12.53 being the low and $21.76 being the high. Now, TSLY pays a dividend monthly, which we're going to go through here and look at it in a second. The assets under management for TSLY are around $424 million, which keeps getting bigger by the day. Now, looking into TSLY's previous dividend payouts, this can hopefully give us a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be expecting if we were to invest into this ETF. And although past performance doesn't mean future performance, it still can sort of paint a picture for us. So the last dividend payout earlier in August was $0.83 cents per share. The dividend payout before that in July was $1.07 per share. Before that one was $0.80 cents, and then before that was $0.44 cents per share. Then back in April, $0.83 cents per share, 90 in March, 90 in February, and the first one in January was $1. So pretty much every single dividend paid besides, I guess, the one paid out in May, has been relatively pretty huge. But now to go back to the title of the video. I said that $80,000 invested in TSLY could completely cover the salary of an average worker in the United States. Now, according to Forbes, the average salary nationwide in the US is around $59,000, or let's just say $60,000 per year. So if we were to take the average salary of a worker in the United States, $60,000 and divided by 12. In theory, an investor in TSLY would have to come up with $5,000 paid in dividends every single month in order to make exactly as much as they're making through their salary. So the math from there would be $5,000 divided by the last dividend paid by TSLY, let's just go off of, which is 83 cents. But keep in mind, TSLY does pay different dividends every single month, most likely because of this ETF strategy. But just in theory, going off of the last dividend paid, this means an investor would have to purchase, in theory, 6,024 shares of TSLY in order to earn as much in dividends from TSLY as an average worker is making from their salary. Now, TSLY is currently trading at around $13.40 per share, which means an investor would have to buy, in theory, $80,722 worth of TSLY in order to have the dividends surpass that of the average salary in the United States. Now, by no means do I personally have the guts to invest that kind of money or even anything close that much into this relatively newer yield max option income ETF. But I have recently seen some dividend income focused investors throughout the community start to go really big into some of these yield max ETFs in order to try to earn as much income as possible from pretty much the least amount of money invested as possible. And to be completely honest, for me personally, being a fan of Tesla stock and being a fan of cover calls, shares of TSLY are currently in my portfolio. But as of right now, I think around 20 or 30 shares altogether. And that's because there's just not enough historical performance yet. And this option income ETF is just a little bit too volatile for my liking. But I want to hear from you guys down below when it comes to the TSLY or the yield max ETFs in general. Have any of these ETFs landed a spot in your portfolios as of yet? And if so, let us know with tickers down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.